Uh, so I'm Ben. I live in a, a tiny town, a rural town in the Welsh borders. It doesn't even have a Nando's. <laughs> I go to uh, Oxford University and I study history and Oxford's an enormous town and it was quite scary to be honest, uh, going to a place where the buildings are over two storeys high. A bit threatening. Um, so yeah, my mum uh, has uh, only one lung and a twisted spine and heart murmurs and various things that I actually can't really remember the names of. Uh, but uh, I've always, she's always had it and I've always known that uh, I just need to look after her a bit more than uh, other people look after their mums, which is absolutely fine. And I've always, always there for her and I always was able to check up on her, which made going to university and leaving that so difficult and made it, it, it challenging to, to leave home and leave those responsibilities behind to someone else. When I first left home uh, for university, I was really worried about mum and whether she'd be able to look after herself and whether she'd be okay if I wasn't there to look after her and, and do the washing up and do the hoovering and just check that she was okay after school. Um, and it was a big problem and I wasn't sure what to do exactly. After years and years of having that responsibility and accepting that I had to be there for mum, I had to pass that on to my younger brother. And I found that quite difficult to um, pass pass on the baton and go off to a city on the other side of Britain and study a subject uh, without her being around. And so I used to phone home several times a day and I used to go online a lot and leave lots of messages to check she was okay. And being a bit of a pest girl, it wasn't. <laughs> I should have engaged more in uni, uni life and sort of tried to move on. Hope Support was fantastic because it understood what I was going through and knew that I was struggling uh, away from home and away from mum and I couldn't, I couldn't be there for her when she needed me um, or when I thought she needed me. So the We Are Hope Facebook page is a really fantastic uh, tool I found at university because uh, it, it has lots of other young people on who are going through the same thing uh, all over the country and they at different ages they might be at uni or at home or have left uni. You can talk to people who are going through the same experience and the same problems and you can chat privately through the We Are Hope Facebook page and talk about what you're going through and it was wonderful to know that someone was there. You just had to open a laptop and you know bang people were there to talk to and understand. University is a wonderful place for meeting new people but sometimes they can't quite understand your issues because they haven't been through the same problems and you need to you need to have been through the same problems and to know all the facts to understand an issue. I found that I could uh, not only sort of and un un sort of understand that it was okay not to check up on mum every day or every every half day but I could go out and enjoy uni life and uh, make new friends new friends who didn't quite understand my situation but that was absolutely fine. Having hope there to talk to to someone who who genuinely understood the problems meant I could engage much more with, with uni life and engage much more with friends and with my studies. And it's a really fantastic way to uh, connect with people who have the same problems and so you know that you're not alone and that you can you can get through this without 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 sort of isolating yourself from other friends at university. 